All right, guys, we've got uh, Jordan here. He's got his uh, second place Trickstar deck profile for us. Awesome. Right, nice and easy. Three Candinas, and we've got three Lycoris. Oh my god, we're going to fan them around. <laughs> Pretty standard. And then, then you got your one Lilybell. Lilybell was yes. kind of useful, but she's just there when you need her. Then you got the one watch engine, just pretty standard. Uh, the one, two, three. Wind Witch literally won it for me. Trick stars weren't that effective, but Chris Wing is just a hard monster to get around. Especially when it comes to the death by card effects. Literally, with her. Uh, one Ghost Ogre, I only put it in for Electromite, I didn't really find her that useful. Two Honest, that's. It came in when it needed to, but other than that, I found it pretty bricky. Three Drolls. Drolls are just amazing. Can't get past them. And then three Ash. Ash was okay. Sorry about that. Ash was okay, but it stops one where pendulums just keep going. So it didn't stop them at all. Anything you'd change? Uh, probably... Remove these and maybe two ash. No. Always keep the drolls. Drolls are amazing. Uh, one terraforming. Three light stage. Light stage is good. Terraforming just to boost it up by one. Other than that, it's okay. Uh, two chain summoning. Personally, I didn't go into the chain summoning combo that much. It was. It wasn't hard to do. It just didn't really come into play as much as I thought it would. Three of the best card in, in the format at the moment. Scapegoat. One every game for me. Scapegoat to borrow load. Literally straight away. <laughs> Monster Reborn. It was, it was good when my Crystal Wing was gone. Um, Dark Hole, Regiki, and Cosmic Cyclone. Dark Hole you can go nuts with Lily Bell. Regiki just Candina and Lycoris and Cosmic Cyclone just to remove the the field spells that are needed. I can't think of the true Draco one. True Draco. Di 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 <laughs> I can't even say it. Three reincarnation. Reincarnation and draw is just disgusting. Shouldn't be a thing. And one Blazing Mirror Force and two Strike. Strikes were okay. They helped, definitely, but not as much as I wanted them to. And Blazing Mirror Force hurt me more than it hurt them. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with that. With the extra deck, we're running the best, the best card to go into. Borrelo. MVP of the tournament. Do not go into it first if they've got one as well. It doesn't work out nicely. One Flywheel. Should be two Link Spiders, one Proxy. Proxies and links just help me make other things like Skulldred and so on. I never went into Skulldred, but Firewall I made once. He was striked, so I never made him again. <laughs> Crystal Wing and the Winwitch one, these two are amazing together. You burn them for a little bit and then they just struggle to get over it. Especially if you negate them and they gain their attack. Did anybody ever go stoke the winter bell? No. No one ever did. Um, Skull Dread, I never made him because you need four monsters. It's not too hard, but I just didn't find the use when you can make Borrowload. Borrowload's just, I feel a lot stronger. Decode and Topologic. Topologic was my Black Rose. I couldn't make a Black Rose, so I just put that in just in case I need the board wire. Decode, just to beat stick. With the top of logic, do you use reincarnation and special trick stuff from grave? Try and yeah, try you go nuts with Lily Bell afterwards. Uh, Same with Dark Hole. Um, the Utopia package made it once, worked nicely, then got got ran over pretty easy. It's kind of sad. So that was cool. Um, this guy, he destroys one of yours and destroys one of theirs. So. If they've got something you can't get past, it helps. Didn't make him too much, but he worked once. Uh, Stardust, I put it in there to make it 15. It looks cool, so style points. And Baguska, if you need stall, he's there, I guess. Never made him either. With my extra deck, oh, it's messy, yes. Um, 
ran two anti spells. Literally, my whole extra deck is to beat Pendulum Magicians, and even all of this can't beat them. They're too broken, but they do help. Another Cosmic Slycone. This is an amazing card. Can't wait for the ulti. Two Gamma Seals. These are just helpful in true Draco matchup. Just tribute the true, true Draco man. It was helpful. Uh, should be more Edo Millions. Edo Millions is awesome. I bought him on the day, but yeah, learned his effect and he was actually more broken than I thought. Another Ghost Ogre, just in case. Never put it in, just didn't find it useful. This card is amazing. It just, it helps them float, helps burn them. Just destroys all their face up. GG. <laughs> Dark Room and Nightmare, if I didn't want to do the, well, two of them. Two Dark Room and Nightmares, if I didn't want to do the Wind Witch Engine as such and just wanted to burn them. Didn't, didn't decide to do it because Crystal Wing is a lot stronger than I thought. One system down for the ABC matchup, it literally cucks them. Uh, sphere mode for the pendulum matchup, works nicely, destroys their board, but they got stuck with this thing. And a TT. TT works better than, it's literally another dark hole, go nuts with Lily Bell again and attack again. So any uh, shout outs that you want to give? Uh, definitely Harsha, he let me... Uh, lent me the Gamma Seals. I couldn't find any of them. No one wanted to sell them, so Harsha MVP to him. Also, Greg for the rolling. A lot of the rolling came down to Greg. I had to ask for his help with the reincarnation and draws, so on. And other than that, Gene, I want to give you a shout out. I don't know if you'll see this, but your pendulum deck is way too strong and it's not fair. And Michael Soap, a good game. So, thank you very much. No.